Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called UHC. Now this is an automatic UHC, so you don't have to be on your server to start these UHC games. You can start by themselves. So if the automatic part doesn't interest you enough, I can go ahead and name off some really cool features. One of the features is there's a health bar on the player list when you press tab. There's a custom tabless header and footer. There's a message of the day. You can freeze players in the game and there's a UHC book. And you can also have whether or not your players want to play in team mode, which is a team of two people or play solo UHC. There's also the golden head apple, a countdown and an offline kicker and even world border size and shrink. So if those features don't interest you enough, I don't know what else you would want from a UHC plugin that runs automatically, but let's go ahead and jump right into this. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to download the plugin itself, drop it in your plugins folder, and then restart your server. Now, most of the things that we have to set up will be in the config, so go ahead and go into your server folder, then go into your plugins folder, and then go into the UHC 1.8 folder. And by the way, the version that I'm currently running this on is 1.9, but they also have 1.10, so keep in mind that you can use all three of those versions. And now let's go into the config.yml. So edit that with Notepad or Notepad++, preferably Notepad++. And then here we go. All right, so this should be pretty easy. So now let's go down to Chunk Loader. I wouldn't touch any of these settings. And this isn't the world border. This is the arena border. This is how far outside of the arena the chunks will load. That just depends on how smooth you want to run your game. But like I said, I wouldn't touch those. And if you want to load the nether or not. Game rules. Do you want the daylight cycle to run? Entity drops basically all these are pretty self-explanatory and you guys can change these settings to your likings it all depends on you now here we go the server mode if you want to run games automatically you must change this to true keep in mind this will take over the whole server so it's best to have bungee cord that way you can run multiple servers and not just have one server because like I said this will overtake your server now advanced message of the day that's up to you basically what this will do this will keep you up to date with the statuses going on in the game so if something's happening if it's resetting then it'll tell you in the message of the day but you have to set that to true now server ID you can leave it like that minimum players to start so once you have eight players in the lobby then the game will start now the minimum amount of teams if you're playing the team version of UHC not the solo then you'll need four teams to start and then the countdown so I might change this to something like 60 and there we go and you guys can change the messages the kick messages and whether or not bungee cord is supported. Now bungee cord is supported, you actually get an item that you can go back to the hub with, which is this item right here, and then that goes in inventory slot eight. Now a couple of game settings if you want the team mode on. So that makes it to where two people are teamed up and then pretty much team UHC. So these teams will be decided either by the players or if they're not decided by the players, then the teams will be randomly selected and two people will be randomly put together. So the max amount of players on a team, three, I'd change that to two. And then the item in the inventory that allows you to select what player you want to be on your team is in one. So if you want friendly fire on or off, I would change that to false. And now you can change the header footer for the tab list and now the world settings, very important. You can change the difficulty between easy, normal, or hard. You can change how big the arena is. And now the world border, you can change where the border starts and then where it ends. So keep in mind the arena size is 1,000 and the border starts at 1,250. So that gives it time to eventually catch up to the actual size of the arena. Because you don't want the border to start out at the same size of the arena because then it's just going to keep getting smaller within seconds. You don't want that to happen. You want to give them a little bit of time. You guys can set the time in seconds right here. Here. By that time, it's going to go all the way to 150. And really cool, you can set the rules and anything else you want to say right here. And then whether or not you want the golden head and the golden apple to be in this UHC game. Also, if you want the ability to freeze players. And then how often you want the episodes to start and end. So 20. I assume that's 20 minutes. And then the offline kicker. And then there we go. We finally reached the end of the settings. Okay, so now before you save your settings with server mode enabled to true, we're going to have to go on our server and create a new world on the server. So with that being said, you're going to need multiverse core. If you don't have multiverse core, download it and install it on your server and then restart your server. And now we're going to create the new world with slash MV create. And then we're going to call this UHC underscore lobby. You have to call it that or it won't work and then type normal. So now it's going to create the world. 
and then there we go so now you guys can save your settings in the config if you have server mode on true so I'm gonna save it and then restart my server and by the way big goof on me forgot to enable the plugin up here where it says plugin enable so set that to true when you're ready and restart your server so in your start file when you run your server in the command prompt it's gonna let you know how close it is to starting up your server because this is a big process in a UHC game it's gonna take a little while but in the command problem, it's going to tell you exactly where it's at. So mine right now is at 10%. And if you try to connect to your server, it's going to let your players know that it's loading. So that is a good thing to have. But like I said, it's going to take a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and wait that out. All right, so now the chunk loader has completed its task. Here we go. We can log into the server now. And here we are. So now we are in the UHC lobby world. And there's also a really cool scoreboard right there. So it says waiting for players. Now due to me not having eight players, I can't show you how this works in solo mode, but basically we've already got the setup done. We have the lobby world and we have it running automatically. So now it's just a matter of getting your other players on the server and the rest is history. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more plugin tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.